This is another more advanced Perl application I'm going to show you guys just for demonstration purposes. So I'll actually not start off with the pound exclamation mark directive followed by user that's spelled at USR forward slash bin slash Perl. But for this demonstration, I'm not going to use it. So I'll just start off with my Perl instructions or Perl commands. So in this Perl example, I'm going to read from a file and write to a file. So let me begin by reading from a file. So I'll pull up one of my files in a notepad. It's called text.txt. As you can see, I just have three names here. So I'll close it just to show you guys what's inside that text file. And I'll begin with the file name. And the file name is test.txt. And I want to be able to open that file to read the contents into my Perl program. So I'll use the built-in subroutine in Perl called open. I'll create a container or a file handle is what it's called for the first argument of the open subroutine by Perl. And I want to read from the file. And I want the path of the file that I want to open. OK, so let's actually see what's inside the file. So while there's content inside the the text file, I want to read all of that content line by line into my Perl program. So I'll create a variable to store each line of content from the file name, which is test.txt. So for each line inside the test.txt file, I want to store each line of information inside the container row. And I want to use the file handle. And I'll use those. And again, in our following lectures, I'll explain everything in details. So I'll use another built in Perl subroutine called chomp and for its argument I'll pass in a value and I want to print that line of content so I'll pass that value and of course I want to create a new line for to make it more clear and readable so if I save that let's see what happens I'll run it F5 and there we have it Victor Davis JDM Forte Jason Williams and these are just the names I stored inside of my test.txt file open it up and I'll click edit and this is what you see now you guys need to practice, or it's considered good practice, we need to close the file. So after we're done using the file, of course, we want to close the file. So we have to remember, this is the file handle that contains our file. And we close it. And that's it. So I'll run it again. Same thing but it's safe now because it closes. 
Now once we do that, let's actually open the file now. So let me erase all of this. Now just type it over again. File name. is set to test.txt. We're gonna read from the test.txt file again, or we're gonna write to the test.txt file. We're gonna use the built-in subroutine open. We want to create a file handle to reference our file name and the mode that we want to do, where we want to write to the file, or you know what, let's append to the file. So we're just gonna add a data to the file, test.txt. So print is going to be used to add a data to our file. So I want to add data to our reference fh that contains test.txt and let's add some more names. Bob, let's say Harrison. And let's add another name. Let's say Jack Nicholson. Okay. Then we can go ahead and close the file. So close with the file handle referenced to test.txt. So now if we click run, these two names, Bob Harrison and Jack Nicholson, should be added to our test.txt file. So if we click Run, okay, so as we can see, you think nothing happens here because nothing is being printed to our monitor or our standard output, which is our display here. So we just click Enter. And let's actually look inside of our test.txt file. Right click and click open. And here we have it. <laughs> so we had our three and then we have Bob Harrison, Jack Nicholson. So let me just delete those to format it a little bit better for you guys. So I'll go, I'll go back in here and I'll click or I'll add a new line and let me see here I'll add a new line here as well okay so I'll run it again Enter and let's check our TXT file. We have to refresh it, of course. So I'm going to close it out and reopen it up. And there we have it. It's neatly printed out. And this is one of the main purposes of Perl because the whole purpose of Perl is reading and analyzing text and generating a report for analysis for either an administrator or for another person to look at. So we can generate a nice, neatly formatted report with some analyzed data from an input source. So that was one of my other examples or more advanced examples we're going to be learning throughout this course as well. Or it's an extra bonus that I'll probably throw in for you guys.